Hey guys, it's Alexa. As you can tell, I'm kind of in a different setting than I normally am. I'm currently in my um, living room. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys about an app that has helped me kind of stay fit, helped me kind of get out of the house safely, um, and just kind of helped me with my mental health too, in a weird way. Um, the app is called Yes.Fit. And I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to show you how it's helped me. I'm going to show you the things that you can win, like the types of medals that you can get. And um, I'm also going to kind of get into exactly how the app works. I'm going to try to screen record. I'm going to try to figure that all out. Um, so yeah. So oh, also what I wanted to mention is I do have a coupon code that will give you $5 off. It will give me $5 off a race as well as give you $5 off of a race. Um, so it's kind of a win-win situation, which is awesome. Um, and if it's something you're interested in, you can totally save some money. They're already inexpensive. So with an extra $5, that's kind of amazing. So what we're going to be talking about is virtual races. For those who might not know, I'm just going to quickly explain what a virtual race is. It's basically a race that you can complete from the comfort of your own home. You can use a treadmill, you could go to the track, you could um, go on the bike path, basically whatever you wanna do, which is awesome about it. And you can win some nice swag. You can get maybe a shirt or a medal. Um, basically whatever um, is offered for you to get. I usually like to get the medals. Um, but yeah, it's awesome because you can complete it at your own pace and you can wait at your mailbox for your reward and it's just, it's just kind of fun. But, um, so yeah, so that's just what it is for those who don't know. All right, guys, so I'm not going to waste any more of your time. We are going to get right into it. So they did actually recently update the app. So if I am a little confused, um, <laughs> that is why, but um, I'm pretty sure it'll be easy to figure out. So here is kind of the home page, basically. Um, it has virtual races, challenges, and the Yes Fit store where you are able to purchase things that might help you work out. I know they have like water bottles and different gear and headbands and whatnot, but um, we're gonna focus on the races today. So if you click on virtual races, there are so many different options. Oh my God, this is a new race. But anyway, so here we're gonna click view all. So if you see why it says CYF only, I'll explain that later. But here are some of the races. So they always have holiday versions, which I think is so cool. Like we have the world's largest bunny hop. We have a St. Patrick's Day one. We have a New Year's Eve one, which I um, still have yet to complete. Um, a Beauty and the Beast one. We have Rocky Mountains. Basically, to put it short, they have a race for everyone. They have a lot of Disney themed ones, which are the ones that I love to do. I'm actually currently waiting for my sea turtle one in the mail because I just completed that. So here you're going to start to see that it says CYF only. And that is just if somebody wants, if someone races a lot or they work out a lot or they love to do these races, basically that's for someone that kind of wants to maybe upgrade, pay a little extra a month. I personally don't do that. I don't think you need to do that. Um, I just kind of like to do one race at a time. So that's not for me. But if you do it a lot, it might be something for you. So here we're going to click on a race. So let's find one. We'll look at the Cinderella one. So here you'll see it says Cinderella and this race is 18.5 miles. So what's really cool about this is since it is virtual, it basically takes you along the route of where, wherever the race takes place. So I don't actually know where this takes place, but it kind of shows you on Google Maps where you're going. So as if you're actually in that place, which is so cool. And here are just some other ones that you can choose from. So here we're going to look at the rewards. So 
you can kind of click. I always like to get the medals. I don't usually get the shirts because I feel like that's just kind of extra money that you don't really need to spend. However, if that if you prefer a shirt, then that's on you. I usually love to get the medals. So this one is gorgeous. And I will show you after this the quality of the medals because they are amazing. So let's say I want to join this race. I'm going to hit join this race and it'll tell you the price of the item. Now above you'll notice that it says you can receive a 10% discount. They do that around the holidays. So if you know it's like St. Patrick's Day or Easter's coming up, they usually give you 10% off for everyone. And I think um, if you're a member, you get like 20%. So I usually like to wait until the 10% discount to purchase the races, unless I'm just starting and there's like a referral code, you'll usually get more. But they have male and female. And this race is $25. So let's say I want to join it. I'm going to hit one because I want to complete this race. Then I'm going to go to continue and I'm going to do add to cart and then check out. Um, I'm, I think it might show my address next, so I'm not going to go to that slide, but I think you guys get the idea. So I'm going to show you guys the home page where it shows my current races. So the Snow Queen and the, the New Year's Eve New York one are ones that I have yet to complete. I actually just finished one race, so I do not have um, anything to show for these because I just completed one. But let's say I did two miles on the treadmill. So we're going to click this race, right? Okay, we're going to hit Add Workout. So let's say I, like I said, let's say we did two miles. So we're going to hit two miles. We're going to hit save. If you know this, like the hours and the minutes and the calories, you can add that, um, but you don't have to. So you can say whether you were running, walking, cycling, swimming, we're just going to say running. And then we're going to hit save. So this is a New York one. So obviously you can tell on the map, it's like the New York area which is super cool and then it says two miles of running from manual entry so then you can tell if we go back over here you can tell that I am 6.3 percent completed and instead of 32 miles I now have 30 miles to go and what's cool is it says no device selected I usually do manual entries, but you can connect your Apple Watch or things like that to it as well. So if I go over here and I do manage my devices, I can connect a device and do it that way. So we're going to go back to the home page. So I'm just going to show you this. Okay. So the good thing about these races is, like I said, there's a race for everyone. So you can definitely pick whatever one speaks to you. There's also so many different miles. So for example, you can tell this is 113.6. Haven't even started that. Um, and this one is 32 miles. So one question that I had was, what happens if I don't complete it within a year? Like let's say I bought the race and I haven't completed it, but um, I already spent the money on it. Does the race go away? The answer is no. When you pay for a race, that's why a lot of people suggest to purchase the race that you want immediately because these, these races do, they don't stay on there forever. Like for example, especially the holiday ones, the holiday ones never stay there. So like the New Year's Eve one, the, the Happy New Year one, I knew I wanted this one because it said New York, it was based in New York and I live in New York. So I knew that I wanted to purchase this race before it went away, but that doesn't mean I have to start it right away. So you can kind of have as many races in your spot um, as needed. So I just showed you guys how to do a manual entry. If let's say you have some sort of device that is, you know, tracking everything for you, but let's say you don't have a device and you want to see your calories um, go down. You want to see, um, you know, your miles, like let's say you visually want to see all of this, right? So you're going to go over here 
and this is basically a tracker. So you're going to hit go. And I do have my location service off just because I don't, you know, want anyone to see where I live. <laughs> so um, this is just kind of what it looks like. So I'm not really moving, so you're not going to see this change too much. But here it has the miles. If you were to be moving, it has your pace as well as your duration. Let's say we did miles. Okay, great. So we're going to hit stop. Yes, confirm the end of this workout. Great. So now it says now we've completed that, right? So we the reason it didn't change is basically because we didn't actually do miles, but that's just to kind of give you an idea that you are able to track yourself basically um, through the app if you do not have any type of device. Now, the only reason that I can't go beyond this is because I did turn my location off. Otherwise, on this screen, it would basically have a map of the area that I'm in and things like that. So that is that. Another thing I wanted to show you is the challenges. So it's really cool because they have kind of like little challenges here and there. Maybe you don't want to walk. Maybe you don't want to go on a run. Maybe you just kind of want to do some challenge. I haven't done one of these. It's, it's newer, um, I think, to the app. But there's like a push-up challenge, a squat challenge. Um, and they also have ones for members only. But yeah, I mean, there's definitely so much to choose from. They have beginner, intermediate. Um, I guess if you're a pro, that's the third level. Um, here's a look at the store. Just some things that they have. They have like metal racks and um, buttons and just things like that. But um, I'm not going to focus too much on it. But yeah, I mean, they have tons and tons of races. This is another one you can do with a friend. It says we go together like eggs and bacon. I think that is a super cute race. Um, so yeah, I mean, the options are definitely endless. There are so many different races that you can do. I did want to quickly scroll through just to kind of show you guys the races that they have. As of March 10th, these are the current races that they have. I'm not going to read them all out loud. I am just going to scroll just so you guys can kind of take a look. The Beauty and the Beast one I did. I love that one. I have two waiting for me, so I'm not going to sign up for any others. They also, what is really great that they have is, for example, the one I just completed is the Sea Turtle Exploration. I did just want to show you guys this really quickly. They actually give a lot of proceeds. So not only are you, you know, doing this for yourself, you're getting a medal, you're being rewarded for it, but a portion of the proceeds for certain races actually go to, um, you know, different uh, organizations. So this one will go to the seaturtles.org. I don't know if that was a misspell sea turtles. I mean, I guess that's how they do it, but basically a portion of um, the proceeds do go to um, help sea turtles. So I think that's really cool. But back to showing you some more of the races. It's really cool. They have a lot of races like, you know, themed to different cities. And um, I just think that's really, really cool. We have a Pinocchio one. That's an interesting one. <laughs> I do want to do Sleeping Beauty eventually. I heard the Peter and Wendy one is really good quality. Um, cause I am in a Facebook group. So I did see a lot of people loving that one. So here are some of them. I will show you guys the quality of the metals, um, that I have. They have like Greek mythology ones. Zeus. And yeah, so I'm just kind of scrolling through. I do have an Alice in Wonderland one, but it's different than the one that is shown there, and I'll show you that in a second. It's really cool. They have ones that you can do with a friend, like we go together like bacon and eggs, and we go together like, you know, the bees and honey. Man's best friend race. A lot of people that like to go walking with their dogs do that one. So yeah, here is just a look at the races 
if I'm going too fast, I apologize. I definitely don't want to make this video too long. But they also have really cool coins as well that are definitely a little bit more affordable. And like they're actually pretty short races. I know a lot of the kids like to do these types of races. Like this is like the one mile challenge. So um, it's great for kids as well because they can earn a little something and it's not expensive. So, oh yeah, there's the Alice one that I um, completed. So there's that. I did want to show you guys the quality of these medals, just so you know what you would be getting. So this is one of the, I think it was the second one I completed. This is Mermaid in Denmark. It has this gorgeous stained glass element and this kind of like the Little Mermaid themed. And this is 22.2 miles. It says yes dot fit. And it has this, as you can tell, like these are pretty heavy duty. Like these are not cheap. These are great quality. I am obsessed with it. I just think it's so cute. And on here it says 22.2 miles. So we'll put that to the side for now. Here is my favorite one. This is the Beauty and the Beast one. This one is the first one I completed. It is a 26.7 mile race. And on the back it just says yes dot fit. And this is it. It is gorgeous. It is sparkly and it is stunning. The next one I completed is the Alice in Wonderland one. It is so cute. They had so many different options at the time. They had like the Cheshire Cat and all, you know, all these different characters. Um, from Alice in Wonderland but this was the one that I chose and I don't remember what how many miles this race was I'm sure I could figure it out but um, this is just how it looks so yeah I did just want to kind of show you guys the quality of them um, just so you know you're not getting anything like cheap or whatever I definitely wouldn't recommend it if it was going to be something that I thought was not good quality I mean I, I actually do these races I did want to make sure that I mentioned as soon as you finish a race, the medal will literally ship or your shirt, whatever it is, will ship right away. You'll get a notification in your email letting you know that your reward has shipped and there's nothing else for you to do after that. And it's honestly just super easy. Just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. Now, I did want to show you guys my referral code. So, I don't get any money. I basically just get $5 off, and you guys get $5 off if you decide to join a race. They have um, so many different price ranges that will work for you. So, this is my code in case you want to try it out. So, I hope that you kind of learned something from it. I hope that it might be something that you might want to get into. Um, or try out. Um, so yeah, um, I hope that it was easy to understand. I tried, I'm definitely a visual learner, so I tried to make sure that I actually showed you the app and how it works. So yeah, so um, definitely let me know if you have any questions. Pretty sure you can like add friends on there, so um, you can kind of like cheer each other on. So uh, if you want to put your username below, we can uh, be friends on there. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Definitely let me know what race that you picked. Um, I'm currently working on the New Year's one. Um, it says New York on it, and I live in New York, so like, of course, I had to do that one. But yeah, let me know what race you're doing and if you chose to do it. And yeah, all right, well, I'll see you soon. Bye.